We're still building that same type of house that we did when guys came back from the war. When I walked away from here, I sort of had a feeling that I'm making a, a difference. It's not that it can't be achieved, it can be made. It's not just the Germans that can do this, anybody can. Anyone can. It's just about trying to change the way we think about buildings. On a normal build, we'd open the windows to get some um, cool. But in this case, it was the opposite. And there's leaks just generally on every aluminium window. The closest thing I would have built to anything like this would have been an airtight, climate-controlled cabinet for a jacket that was worn in the first round of golf at St Andrews. Air tightness is good. <laughs> oh yes, I said to her, solar passive home. And she said, no, no, passive home. And um, I was just nodding my head as though I uh, sort of was agreeing. Oh yes, I understood that. It's brilliant. The scalability of it is huge as well. It's a really cool way to achieve passive house. Well, I didn't really understand it. There's a lot to it. The greenhouse gases, the effects of the ozone. I spent a lot of time in the water surfing and stuff like that. The temperatures that have risen in the um, sea temperatures. And one of the issues is climate change, so. There's nothing like it. It's not that it can't be achieved, it can be made. But I don't think there would be a comparison to it. Being part of oh, who knows, hundreds and hundreds of houses and I just walk away and I'm like, that's another house. But when I walked away from here, I sort of had a feeling that I'm making a, a difference to what I'm showing people that there is another side to, to how we can live.